not have known this, but it is National Gardening Exercise Day. And to mark the occasion, First Lady Michelle Obama and some D.C. area school kids harvested the White House garden. Now, some schools making an effort to serve fresh, healthy food are getting help from local farms. While other schools turn to their kids on the North Shore, some students there are doing the gardening in creative ways. Paula Eben has the details in today's Eye on Education. It's going to hook onto that pin. This isn't a science experiment. Tim, you want to move towers for us? It's real farming. That makes sense. At Salem High School, AP science students are planting crops inside a freight car. What do the kids get out of this? Uh, so it's hands-on. That's number one. And so they enjoy coming to class. That's the best thing. Radishes, kale, lettuce, and more are sprouting from these columns that hang from the ceiling in a climate-controlled shipping container outfitted with LED growing lights. The small space equals an acre of farmland. The fact that we can grow that much food in such a small amount of space and with so few um, resources is really cool. The food grown here and here in the outdoor garden will end up in school lunchrooms throughout Salem. Yes, it's absolutely fantastic to know that we can bring local food 400 feet from here to our cafeterias. It will come to my cafeteria washed to put on the plate the very same day. So how fresh can you get? Food Services Director Deb Jeffers and science teacher Graham Marcoux work together figuring out the best crops to bring directly to the school cafeteria. It's fresh food at a refreshing price. It's going to be probably half of what I pay right now. But it's the students who carry out the plotting and the planting, both in the freight farm and at this outdoor garden transformed from an old tennis court. It's a great experience. And it feels good that you could just give back and you know where your food's coming from. Salem has a really incredible program. Simka Horwitz of the Massachusetts Farm to School Project tells us more than half of school districts in the state are now growing their own gardens or getting food from local farms. Research just really shows that when kids have a hand in actually growing their own food, they are so much more likely to try it in the cafeteria. So it's really key for getting kids to develop, you know, lifelong healthy eating habits. Now that freight farm was gifted to the high school. The money raised from selling the food back to the district is expected to cover the cost of the program in the future. If you have an Ion Education story for us, send an email to ioneducation at cbs.com or just tweet me at Paula Eben WBZ. Lisa? Great story, Paula. Thank you.